Today's lesson is about quadratic factoring, which means we will factor the polynomial with three terms. So first of all, still you have to do GCF first. Then if you have three terms in the polynomial, then check can you do the ninja x. For quadratic function, if b squared minus 4ac equals 0, or perfect square number, then this quadratic function can be factored using ninja x. Yeah, let's look at some example. Um, this is what we call the ninja x, this format. So you have to change it into a x squared plus b x plus c format. Then a times c go to the top, the b go to the bottom. Then you have over a over a, and then it's a, the way you write on your answer, you have to do bottom up. Before we get started, let's talk about some pair of factors for a number. If I have 12, the factors, let's get started from 1. 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4, then 4, you know, it's repeat, then we stop here. So if it's a positive number, either my factors is both positive or could be like both negative. You know, negative 1 times negative 12 is positive 12. Negative 2, negative 6, or negative 3, negative 4. If we want to find paired factors for a negative number, like uh, negative 6, so just make sure one number has to be negative. See, negative 1 times 6, negative 2 times 3, negative 3 times 2 is repeating, so I stop here. It could be like positive 1 times negative 6, positive 2 times negative 3. Depends on the problem. Okay, let's go back to the first question. So x squared plus 11x plus 28. This is my a equals 1 and then c equals 28. So here's like 28. 11 go to the bottom. So it's over 1 now. a go to the bottom. So I will check 28. 28. I get started from 1. 1 times 28, then I adding. I check, do I get the 11? If I get the 11, I stop. No, it's not 11. So I keep going 2 times 14. I adding, it's not 11. So I keep going 3. No, 28 cannot be divided by 3. So I go to 4 times 7. See, 4 plus 7 is 11. So that's my answer. And I will write down my answer like this is a 4, here's a 7. Then I cannot reduce 4 and a 1, so that's my answer. I will write down, put the x over here. Then my answer will be x plus 4, bottom up, times x plus 7. So get started from the bottom, then x plus 4, times x plus 7. Yeah, let's go to the second one. For your second one, just make sure it's ax squared plus bx plus c. a has to be positive. a has to be positive. So I will take negative sign outside. I write down like this. You know, plus 7. Why go to the standard form? Then I take negative sign outside. I get the y square minus 7y minus 8. So this time, I will do negative 8. So here it's like 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. 
and uh, the B is a negative 7. So I will get, this is 1, here is 1. So I will do the parent factor for negative 8. It's a negative 1, 8. So I adding, did I get the negative 7? No, I didn't get a negative 7, but I do get positive 7. How do I change neg positive 7 to the negative 7? I just need to change the sign. So I change negative 1 turn into positive 1. And then positive 8, I turn into negative 8. So see, positive 1 times negative 8 equals negative 8. But positive 1 plus negative 8, I got the negative 7. That's my answer. I will get the 1 here. I get the negative 8. So I will write down my answer bottom up. Is negative sign the front. So I have y plus 1 times y minus 8. So when you do the quadratic factoring, you have to make sure this is a standard form. And the a has to be positive. If it's not the positive, you have to take a negative sign outside and then do the ninja x for that. Let's go to example number three. For the number three, it's x squared plus 5xy minus 14y squared. So here's one. A is 1. And 1 times negative 14 is negative 14. Then here is 5. A equals 1, so over 1. Then I will factor negative 14 now. Negative 1 times 14. Then I add. I didn't get a 5. So keep going. Negative 2, 7. Yeah, I did get positive 5, so I stop. This is my answer. I will do the negative 2, positive 7. Then just check for the x square, so the bottom is x. But look at the third term, it's y square, so I will put the y here for both. So I will do the bottom up. The answer will be x minus 2y times x plus 7y. Let's go to number 4. So we have 1 times 12 go to top. Negative 13 go to bottom. Then I have over 1 now. So I factor the 12. I get the 1 times 12 equals 12. When I add 1 plus 12, I got 13. But it's positive 13. I'm looking for is negative 13. So how can I get the negative 13? I need to change the sign. It's a positive 1 turn into negative 1. Positive 12 turn into negative 12. When you check negative 1 times negative 12, still I got a positive 12. But I adding negative 1 plus negative 12, I got a negative 13. So that's your answer. I will put the answer is negative 1, negative 12. So my variable is m. I bring down m here. I will write down my answer bottom up. So m minus 1 times m minus 12. Let's go to more complicated one for quadratic factoring. So we have 5 times 7 is 35. This is 12 over 5 over 5. So we set up the ninja x first. Then I need to do 35, do the paired factor. 1 times 35, I adding, I didn't get the 12, so I move on. 
2, no, I cannot divide by 2. 3, no, 4, no, so I only have 5, 7 now. So 5 times 7 equals 35. 5 plus 7 equals 12. So this is my answer. I have 5 here. I have 7. So this time you have to reduce. Don't forget reduce. I reduce. I will get like 1 over 1. So my answer will be, this is I put the x. I will do the bottom up. My answer is x plus 1 times 5x plus 7. 1a not equal to 1. Then you have to reduce. You have to reduce. Let's go to the second problem. So 7 times negative 8 is negative 56. And middle here is negative 10 over, this is a 7, this is 7. So set up the ninja x first. Then I do negative 56. Negative 1, 56, definitely adding is not negative 10. So negative 2, 28. No, it's not. Negative 3, no, we cannot divide by 56, so I go to negative 4, 14. See, negative 4 times 14 is negative 56. Negative 4 plus 14 is positive 10. So this one could be the answer. But I'm looking for negative 10, not positive 10. What you got to do? Just change the sign. Negative 4 turn into positive 4. And then positive 14 turn into negative 14. So I will write down answer. This is a 4. Here is a negative 14. Then you have to reduce. This time reduce. You will get negative 2. Here is 1. So I will put the variable now. Put the variable here is x. This one is x. So my answer will be 7x plus 4, then x minus 2. That's it. Let's go to the last question. The, the third question, let's just do the practice. Yeah, you practice by yourself. So let's go to the last one. I have 56. I have negative 15. Then I have 7, 7 again. So I have 56. I factor 1, 56. No, 2, 28. No, 4, 14. No, adding is not 15, so I just keep moving on. So, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, 8 plus 7 is 15, but I'm looking for negative 15. So, I need to change the sign for both. Positive 7 turn into negative 7, positive 8 turn into negative 8. So, that's my answer. I put in here is negative 7, negative 8. But you have to reduce. So it's negative 1. Here's 1. Then I put the x. Put the x here. So my final answer bottom up is x minus 1 times 7x minus 8.